wine are fine when you go out for a night on the town, but it's vodka sales that are helping keep spirits up. James Dale, founder and CEO of Vodka Vodka. You're a high-end brand, yet you're relatively low-priced. People um, have changed the way they buy things, and so we saw this coming in the recession and uh, launched the product. The recession essentially has changed people's view of premium brands. In the mass market, I believe that there is a movement towards value. We decided to bring a fun company on. We're going to talk to them. Vodka, Vodka. How are you guys staying afloat in this kind of economy? People uh, have seen uh, the appearance and themselves lose their homes. They're sick of paying too much for goods that really are the same. I think there's a whole sentimental change, psychological change with people, especially people between, say, 18 and 35. It's really based on a fundamental truth that you don't have to spend that much money on something which is high value uh, distillation and luxury grade products to distill vodka. The same things that the ultra premiums use. All we're doing is just selling it for less. So we're going to be 11 to 12 dollars on the shelf. Our competitors of similar quality premium vodka are 30 to 40 dollars. We've got a uh, gold award which is the same as all the premium vodka. Essentially if you drink this next to a Grey Goose or a Ciroc or a Kettle Wine or a Belvedere you won't be able to tell the difference. There's still a place for ultra premium brands really like very exclusive brands like the Chanel's and Louis Vuitton's. But whether they're worth three to four times this is another question. We're providing a great product at a good price.